In the 21st century, it's safe to say the human race has achieved it all in terms of movement. We can travel on land, and water, and air, and even in space. This is all thanks to the constant need to invent, coupled with the never-ending drive to explore. Undersea tunnels are probably among the top works of invention that have come up over the years. As a form of transport, they fill in where other forms like ferries and bridges come up short. In today's video, we'll be looking at the top undersea railway tracks in their various stages of construction. Stay tuned for our best pick, which will be one of a kind once it's completed. Number 10. Saiken Tunnel The Saiken Tunnel is a dual gauge railway found in Japan. The tunnel has a length of about 54 kilometers of dual gauge railway. Important to note is that just a portion of this length is undersea, about 23 kilometers. This is probably the most important part of it as it facilitates easy access between the Japanese islands of Honshu and Hokkaido in the north. The two islands are separated by the Tsugaru Strait. The Saiken Tunnel is quite a huge name in the world of tunnels. It's the longest with an undersea part so far. It also ranks second as the deepest and longest mainline railway tunnel in the world. The top position in these categories is occupied by Goddard Base Tunnel, found in Switzerland. The Saiken Tunnel was completed in 1988 and was built at a cost of about $7 billion. This was way more than the initial projected budget due to rapidly rising cost of materials. The construction was necessitated by ferry incidents that had claimed over 1,400 lives in a single year. Number 9. Bohai Strait Tunnel Also called Dalian Yantai Tunnel, the underwater railway tunnel is yet to be a reality. But this is not so far off. The moving pieces have been set up, and now it's just a matter of kicking off the project. It's estimated that if the construction starts in 2020, the tunnel will be ready in 2039. Maybe it's still far off from becoming a reality, but what matters is that the plans have been formally submitted and the estimates have already been drawn. Officially, the project is dubbed Bohai Strait Cross Sea Trafficway and was initially to be built at a cost of 200 billion yuan. That's about $32 billion. Recent estimates have seen this initial estimate increase to about 300 billion yuan, which is an equivalent of $43 billion. The tunnel is meant to connect Liaodong and Shandong peninsulas via Dalian and Yantai cities, respectively. It is slated to be the longest underwater tunnel at a length of 123 kilometers, beating both Seikan and Channel Tunnels. A good deal of this length, about 90 kilometers, will be undersea passing through the Bohai Strait. Number 8. Channel Tunnel The channel, or officially Channel Tunnel, stretches about 50 kilometers between England and northern France. In England, the tunnel terminates at Folkenstone, Kent, and France's side, the terminus is at Coquelles, Pasti Calias, near the city of Calias. It's the only fixed connection between Great Britain and the European mainland. The underwater segment is approximately 38 kilometers, making it the longest such tunnel in the world. The idea of this tunnel started as far back as 1802, but due to skepticism on the British side about how it might interfere with national security, the plan was swept away. Nevertheless, an attempt was made late into the 19th century on the English side. This was a bid to compel the English government to take up the initiative. Eventually, the official project kicked off in 1988 and was through by 1994 when the Channel Tunnel opened. The whole undertaking was initially estimated to cost 5.5 billion at that time's prices. At that rate, it was the most expensive project ever. At the end of it, the tunnel had gobbled up about 9 billion, over the estimated budget by far. And while it has been pivotal in connecting the two countries, the channel has also been a source of conflict between France and the UK, owing to people trying to illegally gain entry into the United Kingdom. Number 7. Helsinki Tallinn Tunnel Construction for the Helsinki Tallinn Tunnel is yet to kick off. The project is still in the proposal stage. Alternatively referred to as the Telsinski Tunnel, the undersea railway passage is meant to connect the capitals of Estonia and Finland. The project has been in the offing for some time now. Reports date back to 2009 when studies had been conducted. Each of the two cities was to cover a portion of the cost, and the rest to be provided by the European Union. Five years later, a proprietary study to the tune of 100,000 euros was announced. The survey dubbed Telsinski Fix was the first of such about the tunnel. The majority of funds were provided by the EU, with the remaining fraction being split between Tallinn, Helsinki, and the Estonian government of Harju. 
The study placed the estimate cost of the whole project between 9 and 13 billion euros. The Helsinki Tallinn Tunnel is expected to significantly spur the economics of two cities by offering convenience to the movement of both people and freight. According to estimates, the tunnel will transport a total of 12.5 million people on an annual basis once it's completed. Number 6. Marmaray Tunnel The Marmaray Tunnel in Istanbul, Turkey is the first standard gauge rail link between Asia and Europe. The tunnel's name is a combination of Marmara, a sea line south of the project, and Ray, the Turkish word for rail. The entire length of the tunnel is approximately 77 kilometers, with about 15 kilometers of it passing under the Bosphorus Strait, the narrowest strait in the world used for international navigation. The first phase of the project kicked off in May 2004, and in October 2008, it was complete. The official opening had been set in April 2009, but archaeological and historical finds delayed this to late 2013. The entire nearly 80 kilometers of the tunnel opened officially on March 12, 2019. Overall, the project cost about $2.5 billion, with the aforementioned delays being responsible for roughly $500 million. Much of these funds were provided by the Japanese International Corporation Agency and the European Investment Bank. In the first two weeks of opening, at least 4.5 million people used the tunnel. By the time the Mamare Tunnel was six months old, over 21.4 million people had traveled through it. Currently, 120,000 passengers pass through it every day. Interestingly, this idea of this project was first mooted in the 19th century by an Ottoman Sultan. And being near the active North Anatolian Fault, a lot of thought had to go into designing the tunnel to cope with an earthquake in case it occurred. Number 5. Thames Tunnel The Thames Tunnel is among the oldest underwater railway passages. It was built in the 19th century between 1825 and 1843 beneath River Thames, being the first such structure to be built under a navigable river. It connects the London districts of Wapping and Rotherheath to its 396 meter length. It wasn't always a rail tunnel though. The initial design was that of horse-drawn carriages, but it ended up being used by pedestrians for a larger part. This was up until 1869, when it was turned into a railway tunnel. The project was the first of its kind constructed, using the then newly invented tunneling shield technology by Thomas Conray and Mark Isambard Bruno. Financing of the project was by private investors, most notable being the Duke of Wellington. Number 4. Mumbai Amitabad High Speed Railway Corridor The corridor is set to be India's first high speed rail line once it's completed. As of now, it's only on paper, with the construction planned to start in April 2020 and wrap up by the end of 2023. The highly ambitious project was first brought up in the 2009 2010 rail budget alongside five other equally high speed rail projects. The initial length was proposed to be 650 kilometers. That was if the rail line went through from Prune, Mumbai, and Hamidabad. But due to several issues, the corridor's starting point was moved to Mumbai, which saw the total length reduced to slightly over 500 kilometers. Out of this, just a small portion of about 7 kilometers was under sea. This was done to preserve the vegetation between Thane and Virar, some of the places the corridor passes through. A total of 21 kilometers of the corridor will be underground. The whole project is estimated to cost $15 billion, with slightly over 80% of it being provided by the Japanese through GICA. Additionally, Japan will also provide a portion of the components used in the construction of the corridor. Number 3. Penang Undersea Tunnel The Penang Undersea Tunnel is still under construction. The construction started back in 2016 and is expected to be over by 2025. The tunnel is part of the larger Penang Roads and Tunnels project. Once it's completed, it'll be the first underwater tunnel in Malaysia. In the larger Southeast Asia, it will be the second such tunnel. The other one is the Marina Coastal Expressway, MCE, in Singapore, completed in 2013. It will stretch 7.2 kilometers between Butterworth and Sarabang, Peri, and Georgetown on Penang Island. It is estimated that the project will take up about 6.3 billion Malaysian ringgits, which is an equivalent of $1.5 billion. The tunnel has had a fair share of controversies. There have been attempts to bribe the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission in a bid to stop investigations into the project. Also, Consortium Zenith Construction, BUCG, SDN, BHD, the main contractor, 
has been scammed out of millions of shillings in connection with the project. Malaysia's leadership has also been implicated in the controversy surrounding the project. The former chief minister and several other top leaders are said to have received hundreds of millions in kickbacks, according to reports by one Malaysian blogger. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number two, Dubai floating tunnel. We couldn't find the actual source for this image, so Photoshop maybe? That said, we stumbled on a close enough real life project, the Dubai floating train. It's no secret that the UAE is a top contender when it comes to disrupting how we view structures and tech in general. And that's exactly what they're aiming to do with this never seen before bullet train tunnel that'll stretch between Fujara and the Indian city of Mumbai, a distance of about 2,000 kilometers. The project is yet to kick off as, naturally, there are a few issues to be ironed out. And when you consider just how unique this tunnel is, you bet there'll be quite a lot of planning to be done. Unlike the usual undersea tunnels that are fixed, the tunnel in question here will be a kind of floating tube through which trains will be traveling. It's not yet known when the project will take off, but going by the UAE's track record, you can be sure it's going to happen. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. East-West Metro Tunnel Our last undersea tunnel in our video is from India, the second one on the list so far. And just like the Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Railway Corridor, the East-West Metro Tunnel is yet to be open for use. But unlike the High Speed Rail project, construction of this tunnel is underway. The process kicked off in March 2016 and it's expected that by 2021, the tunnel will be ready for use. Passing under the Hooghly River, the Metro Tunnel will be the first such project in India. At the length of 10.8 kilometers, the tunnel is aimed at connecting Kolkata to Hora. 